everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a full leg day. Um, it is a strength day. So we are gonna test my PR. That's gonna be fun and exciting to do together. We're going to do a Copenhagen plank and we're gonna superset it with like a knee tuck with a kettlebell. If you can't use a kettlebell, try to get a bands. I don't have any bands available. Um, and that's really just for the hip flexor. You're gonna feel it a lot over here. So let's start, it's gonna be a superset. The further out the bench is from your knee, the harder it's gonna be. If this is really difficult for you, walk closer having your knee on the bench. But don't move the bench. These are so difficult. You're gonna put the kettlebell on your toe. You wanna lean back as much as possible without like falling. And you wanna just drive it up. So you're pulling your hip flexor. All right, give it like 20 second rest and then do it again. These you're gonna do for 20 seconds on each side. And make sure you finish all of your pre-workout before you get into your lift. So in here I have creatine. Um, people ask me what's the best time to take creatine. So just keep in mind what creatine is doing in, your, in the body. It's pulling water into the muscle. It's bringing nutrients into the muscle. So technically I would say do creatine post-workout, right? Because that's you want to get everything, all of the amino acids and everything into the muscle that is going to help repair what you just broke down. Um, but I'm too lazy to bring multiple scoops to the gym. So I put my creatine in my pre-workout. I have pump, which is nitric oxide. And all that is, is something that's going to be a blood oxidizer. It's bringing blood into the muscle, which is also great. Uh, same reasons. And what else do I have in here? And then just a standard pre-workout. So a pre-workout, creatine, and pump. That's what's in my pre-workout mix right now. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna do the second warm-up, the second round of warm-ups, and then we'll get into the workout. Jesus, this is so hard to do. It makes it easier to do it on your elbow, obviously. Do it, do it on your elbow. It's a lot easier on your elbow. These things are tired already. Eight, nine, ten. All 
All right, let's start squatting. Okay, so usually when I'm squatting or leg day, you're gonna see me pretty much in the flattest sneakers that I have. Um, I wear different sneakers to, to run in, to do track, and I wear different sneakers when I'm doing leg days. So for leg days, it's usually like dunks because Converse's make my, it's like too narrow at the tip. But I recently just got Vibram. Is that what they're called? But they're the five finger toe shoes. So I actually really like lifting in these. I get a lot of questions and people are like, are you, are you lifting barefoot? Or like, are those socks? They are like, they have a hard bottom kind of. Um, they're not for outside. They're literally for the gym, for squatting. But the reason why you want to have something like this is because you need space between your toes and you want your toes to be like wide and planted into the floor. Um, shoes that are like too narrow are going to throw off your balance. And it's also going to affect strength, right? You get a lot of strength and power from bracing and being in the ground. So any shoe that's going to offer you that, I would opt for it. Um, I haven't worn them in a little while, but today we are going to throw these on. I also think they're really cute because they look like little toesies. Ha! They're pretty comfortable. All right. Got a warm up set. Let's throw 45s on there. 20 kilos is 45, right? Times two and a half. Yeah. Oh, there's no bar on here. like my hips are a little tight but All right, um, that felt okay. We're gonna throw, say 35 on top of this. Last week when I tested my PR, I got to 245 for two reps. So I wanna try to hit that again. Um, but we'll do three, three to four reps with the 35 on here and see how that feels with about two to three minute rest in between. Um, and then just take it up from there. That took forever. That felt pretty good actually. Um, so my aim was three reps, I did five. 
I could have got seven probably, struggling, um, but I want to stay in that rep range. So we're just going to keep adding weight. I'm going to take these off and I'm going to add a 45. All right, let's give it another minute. And um, aim for three. This was my goal. For a very long time, I wasn't able to squat two plates, like all the way down, all the way up, one rep. I'm very proud of myself. So it just goes to show a lot of the strength progress that you make isn't necessarily just doing this. It's doing other exercises that are going to help you excel in the range of motion, right? So like step ups, um, working on your hip flexors, single leg movements. Um, all of that matters, except for Pilates. I hate Pilates. It's not bad. All right, set your timer, guys. Two to three minutes, and let's add weight. You can add 10 pounds. All I was thinking as I was going down was like, girl, please get up. <laughs> like, just get up. Don't embarrass me out here, girl. Okay. Got a minute and a half. Take your recovery serious. I don't know, does he? Oh, you want me to do the whole? I don't want Johnny to kill me. I gotta ask I'm dead. Her first. Hey, you gotta ask her first so she can tell you what's the proof. I don't want to be on camera, get caught head in camera like that. I respect it. Thank you for that. That's awesome. You're keeping the peace in the house, man. Right. I'm not trying to get beat up neither. Um. Johnny, I missed the first before spotting your girl. He did. All right, so what do you want me to do? Stand behind and wait until you struck? But don't touch me. I got you. Like, don't. You know, like, let you. me get up out of here. Okay. If I can't get up. Yeah. All right, so just be up under my, my elbows, my armpits when I come back. The aim is two. Oh my God. Appreciate you. Let's get it. I don't think my range was that good on the first one, but I felt like it was good on the second one. So I'm gonna watch it back with y'all. Yeah. I'm thinking if I should do one more. This is the belt is like the hardest thing in the world to put on. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I felt like my spine was about to snap. <laughs> huh? I'm, I was low-key scared to go down. <laughs> All right. 
All right, guys, so next up we're gonna do hack squats, but we're gonna do them reverse. Usually, um, today's like a quad focus day, but I'm really just gonna do overall, like all legs. So if it was a quad focus day, I would do it with my back against the padding um, and do a lot lighter weight because I can't do this. But uh, because I'm doing overall legs, I really kind of want to focus on some more booty. So I'm going to do it reverse. So we're going to do a reverse hack squat. We're going to do four sets by 12 to 15 reps. And then we're probably going to superset this with something. I'll decide when I get there. When I feel it out, I'm going to let my body tell me. Fifteen reps. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna superset this. Superset it with adductors. God. Remember with these go slow, like control it. Don't just like lift it and drop the weight. You're defeating the purpose of the exercise. What are you eating? That looks good as hell. This man got a whole breakfast in here, bruh. Chicken sausage. Chicken sausage, eggs, protein, potatoes. Protein pancakes. Protein pancakes. Okay, yes sir. Guns, prioritize nutrition. I'm gonna add weight. One more set. Holy crap. Whew. My ass is on fire.
Bruh. For the life of me, I don't know why people put the dumbbells in different locations. I'm 1,000% the person that will organize this. Last exercise is gonna be leg extensions, except we're gonna do it for two minutes. So get a timer on your watch or your phone. Ow. Two minutes. And you wanna pick a weight that's about a little over half your body weight. I weigh 150, I pick 70 pounds. Oh. Oh crap. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. A. We're going to drop this. 55. Oh my God, my legs are gassed. Got 40 seconds. Yo. Ah! Oh my god. Five seconds. Time. Oh. You got one set of that.
Holy crap. That was OD. Okay, guys, and that is it. We are done. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I hope you give it a try and you let me know if you did it and if it was hard for you, if it was super easy for you. Um, if you like videos like this, just like, subscribe, subscribe, comment, do all the things that the people are supposed to do. And that is the complete workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and toodles.